Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Farm Fantasy 9 the Excalibur 2 speedrun. This is part 8 and we are currently in the ether chase. You can see that it's today in 6 hours and 13 minutes in game time with the 6 hours and 13 minutes 45 seconds actual game time. So pretty much on the dot the 35 second difference but that's not even that bad. Anyway without further ado let's get into it. Uh, we lost a lot of time in the last episode. I messed up the Black Mage Village heavily. Lost a lot of time there. Then I messed up the... Uh, well, I didn't mess up. I tried the Lucky 7 trick against Heal the Goddess. And it worked. But it worked at a cost of 3 minutes of setup. So, whether or not that was a time save or not. We will find out as we go into the game. For now, though, we're on the EVA train. The easiest part of the game is about to come in. So, let's get on to it. I'm going to load. And the second that hits 100%, we're going to start out. Beautiful timer. Boom. Let's go. Awesome. Time to make progress. So as I said, luckily the I don't know if I did your magnet shit. I'm pretty sure I did, but let's just double check. Okay, sweet. Um, as I was saying, the Eva tree is the easiest part of the game. Luckily, uh, just a lots of cutscenes, lots of dialogue coming up, and the part after the Eva tree is what takes long. The whole Amaranth fight is actually kind of hard. Amaranth um, is hard to fight, especially at a low level, and we are very very low level. So um, we're gonna see how that goes. I think Amaranth is a low level too, so it doesn't matter. But he has still has over ten thousand HP, so it makes it very very hard. Boom, 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 boom. Question marks. Oops. It's okay. You lose like 10 seconds there. Try standing on it. There we go. Asking Aiko is not the right choice because Aiko's never been in here because it's been sealed forever. So it's a pretty nice day today. It's like it's not that hot today. It's about 26, 27 degrees Celsius today. So it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Yesterday was horrible. Sitting at 39 degrees up to 42 at some points. I think in the hottest hottest time of the day so very hard to record and very very hard to make progress so um, i've been recording very very little i think i only recorded three episodes yesterday in total and uh that of course is not a lot and um yeah you know we are we are making progress slowly but there's a this the restrictions are there and they they are causing me to get a little bit behind and the the first two weeks of February are going to be a bit tough. There's going to be very little uh, content on my channel uh, because I'm simply going to be too busy uh, trying to make the Final Fantasy IX speedrun work that I'm just actually never going to make it to the other games that I'm playing. I'm playing quite a few other games. So we have to... Phoenix Down doesn't work, so you actually got to wait. We're going to strike though. It's fine. Uh, but White Magic. Like, definitely not. So Phoenix Down doesn't kill these zombies um, for some reason, only life does. You still don't know why it looks like that, it just works like that, so. I said that's what makes the um, entirety of the Ifa Tree extremely easy, is that all the enemies are zombie types, so they're very easy to kill. And then the only enemy that isn't a zombie type is like dies to. I uh, shouldn't have got that, I should have got that on my way back up, but it's okay. And the only enemy in the Ifa Tree that is. Uh, even slightly, or uh, doesn't instant die, insta die to uh, life, insta dies to a soft. So, you know, he's one of those became too soft to live type of situations again. So, it's very interesting how that was planned out, but that's okay. There we go. See, we had to come back up here anyway, so I thought so when we come back up, we'll get the chests. So, we fought one encounter. I'd like to min keep encounters minimized to two encounters total before the. Uh, Leaf, and then we do two encounters on the leaf, obviously, and then the soul cage fight. So, oh, I was unlucky. So, we really had two encounters, so that's gonna make it probably impossible to make it all the way. You just like uh, use a soft in this guy. He did get a sweep in, which sucks, but that's okay. I'm just like, I do not like this monster. This monster does not look appropriate for a kid's game, I'm just saying. Bum, 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 bum. It's a nice opportunity to get a, a couple of levels, so that's always nice. We're just gonna go to Dagger, go to Dagger, get a bit of heals on everyone. Just so that we're off words, because um, we are lowish level, which is obviously problematic for the upcoming fights. And um, we're only going to be grinding out levels in this 3, so until this 3 we're going to have to play the whole game at this very low, low level. So that's um, going to make it a little bit harder. Quite a few chests here, you know, got to get them. Oh, up to 3 fights, that's really lucky. If we can stick to 3 fights, I'll be okay with the situation. Anything more than 3 fights, I'm just going to be very sad. 
even though it's like, as you can see, the fights are really fast because you're pretty much one-shotting enemies, um, due to the fact that we can light them or soft them and stuff, it's fine, but at the same time, it is a problem that, um, the time constraint, it's like each fight is, is about 30 to 40 seconds long, 30 to 40 seconds you add it up in the long run, it, it really adds up to a amount you don't, you don't really want to waste. <coughs> Excuse me. Still have a little bit of a, a flu from the, from the couple of last days. I did mention yesterday in my recordings that my throat was feeling a bit funny. Um, not sick. It's more like a weird type of like, I don't know what the situation, what the right word would be for the situation, but it's like this weird like situation where I feel like, I feel like I'm sick, but I'm not really sick. So it's weird and I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Luckily this part is like I said super easy and it's pretty fast to get through here. Um, it does take quite a bit of time though unfortunately so um, lots of dialogue and lots of like looking at shit we gotta get through first. Here we go. So we're gonna go down we're gonna fight a couple of enemies along the way nothing too serious nothing we can't handle. And then uh, we'll go fight the Soul Cage, which, as you know, is the easiest boss in the game. We're gonna try to get a steal with the Zidane. Even if we get one steal, I'll be fine, and then we'll kill it instantly. So, preferably, we want to get the steal because we kind of need the staff for Vivi. And if we were lucky enough to get the staff, we got our star the staff in the first steal last time. But I don't know if we're gonna get it this time. It's going to be uh, it's gonna be tricky because it's 100%. Uh, these are like three steals you can get, and the staff is the rarest steal. So we should probably make sure. We equip Bandit and Little Dagger for that fight since uh, we're not going to need the damage anyway. So this fight takes a tiny bit longer because unfortunately uh, there are three and three is harder to kill obviously than one would be so we're going to try and get through this as soon as possible. If he doesn't survive, we'll just cure her. We're a little bit low in HP, our max HP on Zidane is pretty low, I'm a bit worried for the uh, upcoming Amaranth fight. So, but we'll see how that goes. I, was, I, was, I thought Zidane would one shot it there, but it's okay, Kira will take care of it and that will end the fight. Okay, so I'm going to just make sure I equip uh, Zidane now with the Mythical Dagger. Put on Bannet. Um, since I said we don't need to do all damage with Zidane in the next fight, so we might as well... Uh, Get uh, the high, slightly higher chance of getting a steal. Just trying to get into my menu here, but it's not working. Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, I don't even be in there. Wrong button. I'm gonna come here. Just got missile dagger. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Let's put bandit on. I guess we can put like undead killer on. <coughs> it really doesn't matter. Sweet the baby. What's up, Fivs? How's life treating you, dude? <coughs> My throat is not a happy man right now for some reason. Here we go. Now it's just a Draco Knight, uh, the Draco Zombie fight again. Pretty easy. As long as we can get a, a life off with. Oh, that was fast. That was nice and fast. Holy shit. Echo was like ready to kill. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Took a sip of my cough there just to just to uh, coat my throat so that I don't completely die. <coughs> so that was nice and f that was pretty fast. I'm okay with that. We were um, I want to say almost lucky with the. Uh, Echo ATB gauge there. The ATB gauges m mean a lot for the speedrun. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Sometimes you get a fast ATB gauge, sometimes you get a slow ATB gauge. If you get a fast ATB gauge, it was awesome because it's um, obviously it's going to save you a lot of time. If you get a slow ATB gauge, then it's going to cost you a little bit of time. So it sucks. So I want to make sure we get these two items. One of them is a brigadine, which is kind of important. We did equip bandit, right? Just want to double check it. Yes. <coughs> That's like. I would say up to a minute of lost time because it's not necessary but since like I said we're going to be one-shotting the boss anyway I was thinking well let's might as well 
have banded on and up our chance of getting that lucky steal, you know? I would love Zidane to get a steal before the girls uh, get their turns. But if the girls get their turns, then uh, the girls get their turns. And I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to make an issue about that. I'm going to be like, you know what, girls? You got your turn first. That's fine. <coughs> Please do not run after your girl that you're in love with, uh, Zidane, and ditch your two kids. Poor Vivi. He's always tripping over stuff. I feel so sorry for Vivi. Um, okay, lots of dialogue, lots of soul cage doing soul cage things. Being like, I am the soul cage. You will never defeat me. I am the ultimate being. I've lived for five bajillion years. Rawr. And then I just life him and he dies. I was like, okay. Well, you apparently not the strongest boss ever. After all, that lived for a million years. I'm just saying, dude. There we go. I think we got through that dialogue pretty fast, about 30 seconds. Soul Cage! So the Amaranth fight is the lot, one of the the second last scary part in the game. The Amaranth fight scary and the Arc fight scary. Those are the two things we gotta worry about. Um, the rest of it we don't really worry. I'm gonna literally wait like two seconds so to Zank get one steal and then I'm going to uh, end the fight. I don't think anyone's gonna die to fire us, so it should be fine. So we, we wasted like maybe 20 seconds just getting that steal through with Zidane. We got the Oak Stop on the first steal. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Equipping Bandit, Equipping Metal Dagger. It was all worth it for getting that Oak Stop. Yep, and that's the end of the Soul Catch fight. And we just made it move on. Let's go. So now we got to run all the way back to Madden. Sorry, we're going to fight um, Amaranth. And it's really scary. Like the fight against Amaranth is not easy. It's pretty hard. Um, the reason me, it's more of a, like it's a time dump. Because the only way to kill him is to actually trance. Is to kill him because he has over 10,000 HP. But um, the chance gauge, as you can see on Zidane, is not full, so it takes quite a while to full when you fight it, when you're fighting uh, him with Zidane. So it's a little bit difficult, but um, we can hopefully pull out a victory. We're gonna mac we're gonna optimize Zidane, of course, to make sure that he's got all the strongest stuff on, equipped that do the most damage. You know what would have been cool? <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know what would have been cool? If there was like a, a city like Lim Lim or Alexandria that was like under the mist. You know, like a city that strived on mist. You know, they lived underneath the mist. Because Dali's above the mist. Trainer's above the mist. Um, Lim Lim was above the mist. Oh, Mesia was technically under the mist. But there was no mist there. There was no mist in Bermisia. Or I guess we don't know because we can't see it. So I guess Bermisia is the only city that lives under the mist. Clara lives on top of the tree which is above the mist. And um, it looks like Bermisia is the only city that lives um, underneath the mist. So that's actually pretty cool. I was just telling us how cool would it be if there was a city that lived under the mist. Well, it looks like Bermisia lived under the mist. Which you, would, you would think would make the Bermisians like really strong. Because they're used to like fending off mist monsters and stuff like that. But apparently not. Apparently not. Very interesting though. Very, very interesting. Okay, I just need to get our butts back to uh, Madden, sorry, and fight as little by the fight as possible. Please don't spawn me that shit location. They always spawn me that shit location every time. So we want to just get our butts over to Madden, sorry, entrance is right here. But as you can see, it's a very long run because of where they spawn you on the map. <coughs> I will try and murder you as fast as I can. Oh, well, gone. it. That actually does no damage. My bad. Oh, Zelane's also going to do no damage because he has the Mythical Dagger. We need to... Probably equip him with better gear. You mustn't forget. Goblin patch! Goblin patch! Bum, bum. Okay, 5 seconds long. We need to go. We need to go. 5 seconds long. Bum, bum. I didn't think a goblin was going to be that hard to kill, but I guess, you know, with Zidane having the weaker weapon on, it's going to happen. I think Vivi's going to get the fire in anyway, so it's not going to matter. Bum, 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 bum. But that, that took way too long. It took way too long for definitely no benefit. No benefit at all. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I have no idea what's happening right now. I thought it was fine all morning and then all of a sudden I've got this like, some, it feels as if something stuck inside my throat. It's horrible. It's a really awkward feeling. I just want to go here and I want to optimize the lane quickly. Just boom. Very important that we opt optimize the lane there. Here we go. Can I mute the mic for a second? Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. I just wanted to clear my throat a little bit. See if that helps it. I'm going to go get a glass of water after this recording. And the next recording, we'll have a nice big glass of water here to, to soothe my aching throat. I have no idea what's happening. I think it's from the breakfast. I uh, had some toast for breakfast. And toast uh, uh, it irritates the, the, the throat a little. We want count on. We want um, some egg on it. What is fine. Um, MP attack. Do we have MP attack? We don't have MP attack. Uh, what gives us MP attack? I never know. There's no reason to have um, any of those on at the moment. So let's go quickly check our equipment. We need to find MP attack. It's probably one of, I think it's power belt. Don't have a power belt for some reason. Not entirely sure why I thought I had one. I guess it's maybe equipped to someone else. Probably equipped to one of our other characters. So the fight against, um, against Amaranth's actually going to be very hard. But I'm hoping we can make it. I'm just going to resave here. Because I wasted a bit of time there. And um, <clears throat> I don't want to have to go through the equipment stuff again. We equip Manny too, which is the best we can do pretty much. And um, without Power Bot on, it's going to be a little bit hard to kill him. But Power Bot's on Stein. And we didn't have a chance to unequip Stein after the last fight. That's the problem. So um, it makes it a tiny bit hard. <laughs> look at the cute moogles. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> they're so adorable. Look at them all run. <laughs> they make a little line of moogles. <laughs> it's too adorable. Who thought this was freaking fair? You can't do this to my soul. My soul can't handle it. <clears throat> so we just hit the 6 hour and 30 minutes mark. We're about 17 minutes into this video. I'm not doing too bad. Ooh, unless we get literally stuck on a wall for like 30 fucking minutes game. Holy shit. I hate when that happens. That's some bullshit. I'm actually going to do something which um, I think is pretty unprofessional and you guys are probably going to be a little bit mad about but I'm actually going to pause the game. After this little cutscene and pause the time, I'm just going to go get me a glass of water because my throat is really killing me. And this is still 40 minutes of recording roughly to go before the next episode. So I don't want to sit here with this hoarse voice that I'm going to be uh, clearing my throat the entire time. So I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to pause the game after this little conversation scene. And I'm going to pause the time at the same time roughly. And then we're going to go. And um, hopefully... I won't be gone too long. It's going to take me like not even a minute in, or in total, hopefully. But it's uh, I've got a pretty specific setup here, so it does take a little bit of time just to to like maneuver, move around, and all the wires and the cables and everything. So it's a little bit of fun. But I'll be back in about a minute, guys. I'm so so sorry about this, but I need to get something for my throat. I'll be back in a second.
There we go. Now, truly hope that was not too long for you guys. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's get back into it. I don't want to waste any more time because I do feel sorry for you guys that I had to sit and look at that pause screen for. Oh, what? It might have been close to a minute, if I had to guess. Something very similar to a minute. Not entirely sure, but we'll see how it goes. Um, for now, though, we're going to get our butts over to the Adoron Wall where Lani is holding Echo hostage. Bum, bum, bum. We, of course, don't want to get stuck behind every single wall on the way, though. Probably save me a couple of seconds of time. So we've got Zidane decked out as best we're going to have Zidane decked out. Now we just got to do the Amaran fight, which is, like I said, a very hard fight. So a little bit worried about that. Hello. What's up? Pick inside. Let's go. No way, you the lady. <laughs> Poor Aiko. She's so cute. The Moogles bring us some items. Explode on Alexa. Nice. Uh, where's Mog? Mog got captured too. Nope, Mog is there. Although Mog doesn't have a orange gold little bubble on top of his head so i'm a bit uh, a bit uh, interested by why that is i want to see proof so i do not believe it okay so what is our next goal well basically our next goal is to make it to um back to the ether tree where we are going to be uh seeing the whole entire scene with like kuja and blah blah blah, blah all that all that all that and um We'll see, we'll see how it goes from that point on. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Lots and lots of talking. Poor Vivi. She likely thinks Vivi isn't dangerous. Vivi's like probably the most dangerous. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's big scary guy. Ah, the sleeping thing wore very fast on Aiko. I wonder if it's because she's the summoner. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, Amaranth, the only cool part about Amaranth, because I don't like him actually as a character in the game at all, but the only cool part about him is he's got a nice theme song. I like his theme song. It's very, like, chilled and relaxed. I do like it quite a bit. So, kind of worried about this fight. I'm not sure if I'm able to beat Amaranth. Um, he's kind of strong, and uh, we don't have any, like, Lucky seven tricks or anything along those lines to just beat him. We just have to shut up, beat him. But good old school physical DPS, baby. That did a lot of damage. Now we got, now we gotta wait it up because we can't do jack shit. There is like a seven, but we don't have seven in our HP. Let's use a potion while we wait for him to stop his shit. Just stay like mainly on a full HP. It would be impossible to wait for a full HP gauge, as you can see, because if we waited for a full HP gauge, we just actually would never kill him. If we waited for a full trance gauge, I mean. Hmm. See, we're not doing nearly enough damage. Nice counter attack. That's useful. We need an MP attack to make this work, I think. There we go. Getting quite a few counter attack box, that's very nice. Another one? Oh, unfortunately, not another one. So while he's doing that, I'm going to use a high potion on myself. Maybe Amaran can attack us to a point where we have. Uh, ooh, there's a 7. We can use Lucky 7 as soon as he comes back. Oh, he's going to attack us before we get a tackle. That's the problem. Oh, maybe we can get Lucky 7 off. Come on, lucky 7 before he goes. Yeah, yeah, this might actually hit for 7,777 damage. We have a 7 in our HP gauge. I'm not sure how it works, but apparently it works something like that, so... Yeah, baby! Oh, baby! That was perfect! Oh, man, that feels good. Holy crap, that feels amazing. That is very, very good for us. We're gonna get a nice time save there. How lucky was that to have a 7 in our HP gauge and be able to uh, hit him for 7,777 damage. That is huge. Absolutely huge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got to go through a shit ton, and I'm not even kidding, a shit ton of fucking, um, stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to decide, uh, what the word is, but, uh, we got to go through a shit ton of dialogues and a shit ton of cutscenes with Garnet. Because you guys know, we did an area zone this one, and now we're going to pay the price. Bump, 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 bump. 
So I'd be very happy if I could end this all in say before six out six forty. I'd be very happy. That's probably unrealistic. We probably look at six forty three ish if we want to be more realistic. But but I would be extremely happy and extremely fine with the six uh, forty type of situation. I'm just want to come here and take off all of our stuff because we're going to be losing her soon. And or not rather losing, we're going to be only taking her out of our group because we're going to be putting Amarant in and leaving Garnet out because she's kind of useless. So I'm going to get to Echo immediately. I don't want to waste any time here on anything because time is of the essence very very nice with that nice little uh do we have s we have a seven in our max hp gauge so we actually can use lucky seven whenever we full hp didn't even realize that it's on now that's very nice for us i think they give you the exploder specifically because you can use um i think i just told it to stay but whatever um i think we can use lucky seven like all the time now because we have a 7 in our max HP. So a lot leveling up today past this point would actually be very cool because in the day we'd never um oh, although we are using the plus 20% HP so that's maybe the only reason. Do, 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 do. Hey guys adorable. She has no nose. Absolutely no nose. Which is weird. But she's still adorable. Mog! How could you fucking abandon her? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Mog is adorable. Keep it. A ribbon! <laughs> yeah, the ribbon. Where did that ribbon come from? I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Now we gotta watch the fucking two hour long dagger scene, which is very time consuming. Two hour long dagger scene coming in. Do, 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 do. We might be able to squeeze this before 640. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very tight. I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to be extremely tight. But I believe, I believe that we can get out of here at 640, baby. If we can just get out of here at 640, I'll be so happy. Anything under 643 will make me a happy man. I'll be like, anything 643 down, let's go, baby. Mm. Big glass of water really helping to soothe the throat now. Making the... Um, my voice much better, making me a bit. Can I, Zidane, can we do something? <laughs> like, I don't know, understand why Zidane just was though for like 10 seconds. I'm trying to get out of here before 6.40 and you fucking talking for fucking 20 minutes. I hate Dagger so much. I hate her so much. Like, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain to you guys how much I actually hate Dagger. I don't have time for all this crap. Nope. Okay, there goes my 640 plans, baby. I forgot these guys talk a lot. I understand the logic behind it. It's the whole building up Zidane, building up Garnet's little romantic and romance feelings for each other and shit. I understand, game. I understand. I ain't heartless. I ain't a heartless bastard. But at the same time, fuck you, game. Can't you see I'm speedrunning here? Do you think I have time for this talking? Look, I don't mind watching all the FMVs. I'll watch all the FMVs. I'll lose time, then I'll watch all the FMVs. Okay, whatever. But if you guys just gave me an option where I could have fucking um, skipped all this dialogue. Oh, man, that would be the best. A little like you can skip this whole scene. Like you go, where's Dagger? Oh, there's Dagger. Push a button and skip it. And then all of a sudden it's like we are over. We're watching this FMV. Off this FMV, we're outside ready to go. You know, that would be great because at least two hours of gameplay. I'm not even kidding. Two hours of gameplay is just fucking gone and talking shit. <clears throat> I'm literally not even kidding you. This chick is badass. Garnet's mom was bad ass. She was like, listen here, you motherfuckers. I'm gonna get my little girl on this tiny ass little boat. I'm gonna get her the fuck out. All the way from Maiden Sorry to Alexander. That's a ma I don't know how she even did that. That's a long ass journey. Be a lot of fresh water on that boat. I'm just saying, there's 41. Man. Dagger, wake up. Oh my god, I hate her so fucking much, guys. Don't you guys just hate Dagger? I know you hate Dagger. You know how I know you hate Dagger? Because I hate Dagger. Let's go. Any, if anyone can tell me Garn is their favorite character, I'm just not going to believe you. Not for one second. Out of all the awesome characters in the game, there's no way the generic fucking pity party princess summoner is going to be your favorite character. 
It's just not happening. Like, let's look at Terra. Terra has some reasons to like Terra. Terra is awesome. You gotta like Terra, man. But Garnet. There's just no reason to like Garnet. There's actually, it's the opposite. There's a bunch of reasons to not like Garnet. Oh my god, we have to go through the whole idol more part? Okay. So 643 is kind of looking like a dream right now. I'm a little bit upset. I really wanted to get out of here by 643. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen though. But, um, it's okay. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. I'm crying. I'm crying inside, guys. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, we lose time. Like, we're always going to lose time because we're watching FMVs. So we're never going to be able to catch up on time because we are watching FMVs. So that's just how it's going to be. And we need to accept that. But at the same time, if you game, if you. I thought I made up quite a bit of time in the infantry. Look, I definitely made up time in the infantry. Like, I did that shit was... Oh, okay, wait, wait. We did that four random encounters, which was a bit unlucky. But I think we did, like, made up some good time in the infantry. Look, I definitely made up time in my own personal time. But one of the hardest parts coming up is the grind uh, against the Grand Dragons. That's a lot of learning. And the arc fight. The arc fight's too hard. But I'm actually going to... Like, I might just set up the arc fight for a win. Because I hate the arc fight and I really don't want to suffer through it. So I might just set up the arc fight for um, 9,999 damage limit globe with a uh, 7,777 lucky 7. Like seriously, I'm not even kidding. I might just set that shit up because I really don't want to do it. <laughs> the arc fight is super. If we do, if we can do 9,999 with... Queen with Limit Globe, and then we can do 7,077 with um, Zidane, then the Ark's going to have like 4,000 HP left, and we can easily do that with like two attacks from Amaranth, or one attack from Freya, one attack from Amaranth, something along those lines. We do need to be careful though, because that means we won't have anyone that can do serious damage against the boss in the castle, so we might want to maybe not have Queen and we just attack with like DPS, maybe Lucky 7 with Zidane and then attack DPS the rest. Maybe Zidane will have a max HP bar of more than 7, who knows, it's possible. And then we can like Elixir him and um, Elixir him and keep using Lucky 7. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very hard because of that. Fuck you, Gone. I'm my buddy. Do not like you at all. I hate Gone so much. I hate Gone so much! Do 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 do. Okay, get outside, get to this thing, we need to go to equipment, Amaranth, optimize, 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 optimize. Okay, abilities, um, you. Undead killer on, beast killer on, man, it's going to get off. We need, um, whatever, insomniac, you need insomniac, because insomniac is sleep, counter off. In some, I can put some on and might as well put bright eyes on, whatever. Uh, we might as well also just put ability up on, or we can actually put bird killer on, I guess it's fine. You can have bird killer on, we need insomniac on you, antibody and locomotion is fine. Anything else, yeah, they have counter, it's fine, I don't care. You can have insomniac too, we don't have insomniac on you. Um, a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. And then, actually, you know what, rather have a high tide on other than antibody, I think, because that's probably worth more. Um, you, Aiko, clear headed, locomotion. High tide, I guess, is fine. It doesn't really matter. And let's go. And now we want to quickly just check our equipment quickly. Is this still the strongest weapon you have, Zidane? It's fine. Probably unequip that. Look at this. It's fine. You want Ruby? There we go. Okay, the Ruby was up to be really after. So it's not too bad. Okay, saving. Okay, so we're like 42 minutes behind schedule now. We got a little bit behind there. It took long for me to equip and uh, a lot of talking there. I thought I saved some time in the Amaranth fight thanks to the free Lucky 7 that we got, but apparently I was wrong. It's okay. So we might not want to, like, we actually just might not want to level up Zidane anymore because we can just keep Lucky 7 as a as a fighting strat. But I don't think there's actually any reason to because um, I don't think you actually fight as anything you know I don't think we fight any bosses or anything so we might as well keep run, uh, keep uh, fighting stuff now we need to keep trying to run away we could have used flea I guess there we go we lost a little bit of MP on Queen on uh, Vivi I almost say Queen but it's okay I meant Vivi okay so one enemy before we got to the Condor BT path was very unfortunate but that's gonna happen 
Wupp, was klappt? Dumm, 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 dumm. I hate the run from main inside to EVA 3. You gotta do it literally three times and that's a lot of random encounters. Also, it's lots of walls to get stuck behind, which is like my number one nemesis. I get stuck behind every fucking wall you've ever seen in the whole history of life. Nope, that's right. Ran the wrong way for like a whole two seconds there. That's not good. Probably gonna run into one more encounter because of that, yeah. Uh, we will run into encounter anyway, I think. I'm pretty sure. But um, it's okay. Um, we'll actually kill you. I guess it's fine. You will die pretty fast. Dun, dun. Lucky I've got a, a cool strat. Okay, we need to change Aqua's equipment. Uh, I've got a pretty cool strat for the... Um, for the... Arc fight already because I did it like 12 times in my last playthrough, so I know exactly how to do the arc fight. So, luckily, that is a lot easier for me, but it's still a difficult fight nonetheless. I need to get into this thing, I need to equip Echo with the right item. I knew there was something I was forgetting, and that was the Golem's Flute that Echo needs to have equipped. Echo needs to have the Golem Flute equipped, it's like critical for our let's play, or for our one at least. There we go. More talking, some super sexy cool cutscenes coming up guys, and then uh, after this we will be making our way to disc 3. Um, before the 7 hour mark, I think that's not too bad. Give us 5 hours to get through this 3 and all the way to Excalibur. Uh, just keep current members and go. Awesome. Ah. Uh, do, 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 do. So if we don't encounter one enemy on top on our way up to the Kuja section, I would be the happiest man you've ever met in the history of life. Um, that would be great. It could happen. It's not. It's not. It's, it has a chance. Oh yeah, sweet. I wonder if there's a bunch of gargons that live here because those look, these look like kind of gargon roots that the gargons would travel on. And I see there's some of those little flowers the gargons like to eat. So I wonder if maybe it's a situation of the gargons live here. It's like the gargons' home. Come on, we gotta be a little bit faster, baby. Faster. Trying to skip as much of this dialogue as fast as possible. The rest of the, like, the hardest part of the game coming is Olivert because of the, um, the part where the arc fight. The arc fight is truly one of the hardest parts of the game. Uh, part of, for me at least, the speedrun, the hardest part of the speedrun is the Oliver, is the arc fight in Olivert. And then it's Kush's Castle. Kush's Castle is pretty difficult. If you can get through the entirety of Kush's Castle without fighting a random encounter though, that is huge and that's going to make it a lot easier. But it's pretty, pretty hard. Um, then it's pretty easy from that point on because once you get the blue Narcissus, you go grind out the levels in the, um, against the Grand Dragons. Which makes the rest of the let's run, or the let's play extremely easy. Once you get uh, enough Grand Dragons killed and you get to a high enough level, the rest of the speedrun is very, very easy. So, um, the only problem with that is that you need to use Queena to um, to do it, which uh, takes time. So, um, and only Queena gets experience. You can only do two times. So, so you, technically, you got to do like three trips. But we're going to be choosing who we level up. We're going to be leveling up only Amaranth, Steiner, Echo and Freya. That's it. We're not going to be living up Vivi or Garnet. Um, the reason is that Vivi does good damage with magic regardless of his level and um, the others do much more damage based on the level and Garnet is useless because she becomes mute anyway so she misses all her stuff anyway so we're barely going to be using her. So I'd love to hit this 3 before 7 hours please game. I would be very happy. I'm way behind schedule already so hitting this 3 before 7 hours would make me very very happy and make this slightly easier or my chance of making it slightly easier so um, that would be awesome. Just really want to hit this 3 before the 7 hour mark. But there's a lot of cutscenes coming up and they take a lot of time. I'm Queen Brian, I'm a bitch. Okay, we get it. I actually thought um, there was going to be a cutscene there, but I guess the cutscene's still on its way. 
How did Queen Bra know where he was, by the way? That's what I want to know. Did Queen Bra just happen to know that he was by the, uh... What's my call it? I don't know. Got to fight two Mysterons here. Nothing too serious. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna heal yet. I think we should still be fine. I mean, I've got sevens in my HP gauge now, but they're not at the end of it, so it doesn't help. That did way less damage than I thought it would. That's a little bit of a problem. It's okay, the Mr. Man's still dead, but that's just a little bit scary. I would actually want to cure her because cure her might be able to get me to 4 HP, which would be good. For the next fight. Although the next fight's easier than this fight, so I guess it's fine. Oh, I could have. I can just lucky seven, like forever with today. As the day doesn't level up, I can actually just lucky seven for the rest of my life. So it's kind of cool. So maybe has no mana. I don't know how that's gonna affect the next fight at all. But okay, so they level up. So there goes our seven HP. It's gone forever. Where did he get all these silver dragons? They still never explained to us where Kuja got all these silver dragons. I'm just saying. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Where did Kuja get all these silver fucking dragons? They never explained it to me. Just can someone please tell me how Kuja got all these silver dragons? Because I don't understand. He's got a bunch of dragons. We don't know where he got it. It's super weird. God, please stop talking shit because you're wasting my time. I tell you guys, I promise you right now, if you take out all Garnet's dialogue, you can finish this game in like 8 hours. 8 hours! I'm not even kidding. I mean, we could technically lucky 7 there, but let's not. Let's uh, actually use the ether on Vivi, yeah, so that we have it for future fights. It's gonna save us time in the future, maybe. There we go. So, getting to this 3 before 7 minutes is starting to look a little bit, uh, a little bit harder. Ah, looking a little bit better. <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna be tight, it's gonna be tight. All I'm saying is, I don't know if we're gonna make it to this, uh, this, obviously this. Um, what I'm trying to say is, I don't know if we're gonna make it to this 3 before, um, the 7 hour mark. I'll be very, very happy, of course, but there's still two very long cutscenes coming up, as well as one more fight, and then a lot of dialogue. Like a lot. Like a lot of dialogue. One more fight. There we go. This is the last fight, luckily, so after this, there's no more fights, and that's nice. That's why I used a Ether on Vivi, so that I could have mana, because I knew there was a double Mr. On fight coming up. It's a... It's kind of like a gamble to use fire on two there because it may be better to use fire on one simply because it might speed up the actual process of the fights a little bit. But I thought it would be better. We don't need to heal you with echo at all, so we can save that time it takes to animate the cure. Oh no, Vivi's gonna sleep now. Fuck. That was, oh, it missed. Nice. How lucky was that? That is good news, guys. That missing, oh excuse me, that missing for Vivi is so so huge for us. Dun, 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 Come on, end this fight, please, Amarant. If Amarant can end this fight, I'll be so happy because we'll save a lot of time. No, Amarant didn't. Okay, well, Zidane will end the fight, so it's fine. But I really needed Amarant to end that fight there, man. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's go. Few more learned stuff, a few more levels, let's go. 
that took I felt like that took Zidane a few seconds to get ready to get running there, but we need to not fight another mist on. If we fight another mist on here, we're gonna lose a minute. Uh, more than a minute, and that's that's gonna destroy me. So we need to keep going. Nope, we're fighting a second mist on. Fuck! That is so unlucky. That is actually so unlucky. I don't think we can run from this, so I'm gonna try anyway. Because I can't do another another Mr. on fight. Can't accept. Fuck me, game. You wrecked me, man. Man, that's unlucky. We were not supposed to fight a second Mr. on there, but today kind of. Did you guys see? Kind of jittered. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I'm extremely upset about that second Mr. on fight. That second Mr. on fight was is really bad, and it really wasn't supposed to happen. Very upset about that. It's gonna lose us a lot of time. But it's okay. It's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. Sweet, nice whole bunch of cutscenes, and then uh, we should be fine. Oh, we sent a bunch of Mistadons. I heard him say Silver Dragons, but whatever. Dun, dun, dun. Do you think she sent uh, bombs out like in disc one when they went off the? When she uh, did the whole chasing gunner thing, or do you think she was shooting normal cannonballs? I mean, let's be honest, that scene is still sexy, no matter how many times we watch it. Um, what was I saying? The only thing is, um, so we're not going to make it before 7 hours, firstly, before this 3, which is really unfortunate and makes me a little bit sad, I'm not going to lie to you, um, but it's okay. And then also, another thing I was trying to say is that... Oh man, my little brain has actually stopped working. I'm not even kidding. My brain has actually stopped working. What am I trying to say? Don't remember. I'm just upset that we're making seven minutes, or seven hours to this three. So I'm a little upset, but it's okay. And on, on that day, many Alexandria soldier died. Okay, so now lots of talking, and then we're going to be playing this Vivi in the game, which is going to be awesome. So, uh, yeah, a little bit upset that I uh, 
Didn't make it in seven hours to this three. It's okay though. It's not the end of the world. But um it does suck a little bit. Okay, so that's not too bad. Seven hours, two minutes in. We're in the screen now. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna save a little bit of time in the upcoming part, which is good. But it's not gonna be enough time to make a truly big difference. But hopefully, um, we uh we don't lose too much time. I'm hoping so at least. We get to watch a couple of cool ATEs coming up soon, which is nice. Bit weird because uh, we don't usually watch ATEs, but this is an ATE watching situation. But that will only be in the next episode, not this episode. Because we're going to end the episode as soon as we get control of Stain and we got to go meet Garnet. But uh, that's still quite a ways away. We got a few things we need to do as Vivi first. And uh, we're going to be doing that as soon as possible. This scene takes so long because it's a garnet scene. You guys gotta understand if it's a garnet scene, it's gonna take 20 years. You need to understand that. You need to accept that. You need to accept that two hours of your 12 hour speedrun will literally just be listening to Garnet talk a lot of crap. I'm not even kidding. Ba -ba -ba -ba, let's go. Let's go, game. So we are officially on disc 3, which is nice. I'm not sure if we're on disc 3 yet or if we need to. Um, or if we need to, like, get to the part we're playing on Vivi in the Union District, I'm not sure which point it is. But basically, after Queen Brown dies, it's everything past that is, should be District. So, um, I'm never sure. Though, I'm never sure. Maybe we're not in District yet. Maybe we still. Maybe this is the end cutscene, end scenes, end stuff of this too. Who knows? Who knows? But we'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. We'll basically find out as soon as we get control of Vivi. <laughs> oh, you gotta love Ruby, guys. Ruby's awesome. I really love Ruby. Ruby's probably one of my favorite characters in the game, too. It's just the attitude. She's got this attitude. She's got that accent. It's awesome. I love it. She's excited. She's hyper. She's awesome. It's not like, it's awesome. Connor is boring as F. Look at her. She's awesome. This way, everyone. Bloop. Hey, what's up, Blank? Oh, my boy, Blank. I love Blank. Blank's like... I want to party with Blank, Beatrix, Lonnie, and one more person. I don't know who the last person will be. Figure it out as we go along. You give me a party of Blank, Beatrix, and one more person. Mm, baby, that'd be good. Gucci. Uh, we need to just go. Nope. Uh, nope. There is one we want to watch here, but that's not the one we want to watch. This one we want to watch. And we want it to be quick. Boom, boom, boom. Our dimensions are awesome. Boom, bam, 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 bam. Bum, 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 bum. I know exactly which slit skin uh, letters I missed, by the way. I like know exactly which two. I missed exactly two, and I know which one they asked to. So, not too bad. Oh no, that's time lost. Like two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. We lost five seconds there. Fuck this game. I quit. 
Next game, next speedrun, reset speedrun. Wrecked, reset. Thank you. You know what's the great part if you buy that deal from uh if you buy that deal from uh Sliskin there, you pay seven hundred and seventy-seven gil. And then you get I'm not gonna save, it's fine. Uh, you get the Phoenix Pinion as long as a few as well as a few other things. What's cool about that is that you can sell the Phoenix Pinion for a thousand gil. So you're literally making a massive problem. And there's only profit, sorry. And you only need one uh, Phoenix Pinion through the whole game to be fine. So it's kind of cool. We get it, dude, we get it. I heard you the first time. <laughs> Please. Time is of the essence if you hadn't noticed. Bum ba dum ba bum bum ba da. Blank, we are so glad. Ooh, busted. I like how Blank was like, oh no, that's the whole love letter scene still coming, isn't it? I love the love letter scene, don't get me wrong, but it's long, guys. It's a long scene, you don't understand. It's a long scene, but it's gonna be a nice scene, so I like it, so it's fine. Come on, we've gotta be faster. We've gotta be faster. I wanna be, I wanna save. By the seven hour and ten minute mark. Seven on ten. I'm gonna go for seven ten. Can you give me seven ten, baby? Baby, can you give me seven ten? Come on. You know you want to give me seven ten here. Yo, Steiner, fuck off. We're wasting time. The princess needs to get dressed. <laughs> he wants to watch Beatrix get dressed. Oh, if you know what I'm saying, Steiner, my boy. I don't blame him. Beatrix is fit, guys. Holy shit. Sweet. Give me controllers today. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No, it's the echo scene. I forgot about the echo scene. Okay, so 710 is a dream that we shall not accomplish. How about we go for 740? 714. That's our new goal. 714, baby. 714, I'll actually be okay with. I won't be happy, but I'll actually be okay. I'll, it will be okay. 714. 714, baby. Let's go. Let's go. 714. <laughs> Nerdy hat glasses, beard. Okay. It goes actually adorable. It's not even funny. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Bum 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 come on seven fourteen baby give me seven fourteen I would have I would I'll be fine with seven fourteen okay I won't be happy but I'll be fine with seven fourteen I'll make I'll make seven fourteen I'll make seven fourteen work I'm not gonna lie to you like it's hard with anything else but seven fourteen I can make seven fourteen work baby there's seven ten so our dreams have been crushed because of Garnet once again, as you can see, there's Garnet, wasting our dreams, destroying our dreams, meaning no Excalibur 2 for us. She does this on purpose, I swear to God. I swear to God, Garnet wakes up in the morning, she's like, Haha! I shall crush 500 people's dreams today. Well, I don't think there's 500 people still playing Farmer Tonight. I think there's probably 500 people still playing Farmer Tonight. Do you guys, well, how many people do you think still play Farmer Tonight? Leave in the comments below how many people you think on this earth still play. Do you still play Farmer Tonight? Let me know if you still play Farmer Tonight. It's literally one of the best. If you're not playing Farmer Tonight, Go fucking buy it. It's super cheap. It's freaking amazing. And it's probably one of the best farm it's ever made. It actually is my favorite farm it's ever made. So it's probably one of the best farm it's ever made. That's what I'm saying. Go get knocked off by Baku. Mm, <laughs> Help! Do, 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 do. Can't Mog fly? Can't he just lift up in that situation and fly upwards and shing it up? Oh, shoot my ladder. <laughs> it's so cute. Do, do, to Zerain, yeah, no problem. Yeah, Buck is awesome. Look, don't get me wrong, the love letter scene with Beatrix and Steiner is the actual best part about the whole game. 
I've said that about many parts about the game. I'm not going to lie, but that is the actual best part about the whole game. So uh, I love it a lot. But it's such a, this. It's like this whole part with the love letter for the Bedrick Steiner scene, which is great. That it sets up a nice little precedent. It actually takes like ten minutes. It's actually like a ten-minute unskippable scene with Beatrix and Steiner, which is fine. I'm okay with it. Whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, I still believe in 714, guys. I still believe in 714. Do you guys believe in 714? I still believe in 714. I still believe in 714. I believe there's a way we can make 714 happen. It's got to be fast again. Fast, fast, fast. 714 will happen. If it's the last thing that happens, 714 will happen, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Beatrix is awesome. That was Steiner. Did I hear Steiner? Do, 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 do. You were a soldier your whole life. It's time to sit down, Beatrix, and have a nice, relaxing life until the end of time. Boom, 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 boom. Is this a love letter? Did Steiner write me a love letter? Ah! That's fucking awesome, guys. It's awesome. I still believe in 7 fucking 14, okay? I believe. Do you guys believe in 7 14? Do you believe in getting to the Moogle by 7 14? I believe. I believe that I ain't. Stop having freaking depressed shit. Let's go. Let's go, Zidane. No more. No, no more talking. No more talking. 714, my dream. My dream of 714 is not gonna happen. Come on, faster, 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 faster. Whoa, Baku, what's up? Dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum, bum. 714! 714, come on, come on, come on, 714, 714, 714. Oh no, Vivi, don't destroy the 714. Don't destroy the 714, Vivi. Don't do me dirty like that, Vivi. Oh, Vivi's destroying the 714 dream. No. No. Gotta go, gotta go. We have three seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, the 714 dream is over. I hate you, Vivi. It's actually Garnet's fault, by the way. I'm just gonna point this out there right now. It's actually Garnet's fault. I forgot. Now watch, I forgot. We lost time anyway, so who cares? Let's go. I forgot. Oh shit, I forgot to give Zidane a letter. Ha 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 ha. Funny. Let's go. Let's go. Pasta. Pasta. Fine, so 714 is gonna happen. We'll definitely make it by 715. If we don't get stuck behind every human in the game. Holy crap, game. And what's the fuck? Muggle. You know what? I actually just realized we forgot to uh, we forgot to get an item as as Vivi, which is gonna make the next part of the game really hard. <laughs> Oopsie, my bad. It's okay. Sweet, so as soon as you're out of the safe, we will pause the game and end the episode there. Boop, boop. And pause. A little bit late, my pause there. My hand was in the wrong. I was trying to pause the timer, but I wanted to pause the game but I wanted to pause the timer it was like a bit of like a, a tricky type of confusing situation where I didn't know what I wanted to do I was like I want to pause the game no but I want to pause the timer uh, I can't do both uh, and then I fucked up so 715 I was really trying to get to 710 710 was the actual goal but um 715 is like five minutes later it's not too bad currently we are sitting at exactly 31 minutes behind schedule on the dot actually which is kind of cool um obviously hopefully our in-game time is maybe 714 which will make us half an hour behind schedule and that'll be really good because excuse me there's a big and i mean big big time save coming up very 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 soon so we will be saving a lot of time coming up very soon and i'm extremely excited about that um the only thing that i gotta worry about is our cash flow i fucked up the 
cotton rope trick once, which means we're going to have a lot less money than what we would have had. Um, it shouldn't be the end of the game, though, so hopefully we can make that work. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the episode of the Excalibur 2 speedrun, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a bunch. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. See me updated as soon as new episodes are released. New episodes release every single day on my channel. I do apologize about the last few weeks or the first few weeks in February, which were a bit slow. Uh, it was a little bit under the weather, as well as um, having computer problems, and then also the Final Fantasy 9 failed speedrun attempts that you won't see also took and ate up a lot of my time. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next episode where we uh, make our way to trainer, win a card tournament, hopefully, and then we're going to do the Grand Dragon um, grind after we do the Alexander awesome, awesome, awesome scenes. See you guys soon.